Sure, so my name is Rebecca Tabaski. Thank you. Um, I grew up in the Florida Keys. I went to the Keys Jewish Community Center. And in the temple, we had a tourist school called the Church Czechoslovakia. It was the only remaining thing from that community of Jews after the Holocaust. While I was in the Keys, I would see floats washing ashore, telling the story of people attempting to leave Cuba. They were seeking safety and food for them and their families. They didn't make it, and I could never imagine taking such a risk. Before moving to the Keys, I lived in Massachusetts, where my parents, Jews, took to challenge an electric chair building Holocaust denier who told them that they should be turned into lampshades. I'm sad to be here tonight, across from concrete and barbed wire, where refugees, immigrants, and asylum seekers have made such treacherous journeys, have been shuffled from concentration camp to concentration camp, and are now here, under your care, where you do have the power to do something. Guarded by people who are willing to hurt us, and who are willing to hurt them. I and my friends here were almost run over, or run over, could have been killed. People were pepper sprayed, and there is no accountability at this facility for those who did that. Never. Now. It is my responsibility, and it is all of our responsibility, to never allow anything like the Holocaust to happen again. To not allow family separation, to not allow such dehumanization. Do not continue to allow ICE to operate here. every service saying that everybody who came there, no matter whether it was their first time or their hundredth, that we were mishpacha, that we were family. We in the world, in many ways, are all mishpacha. Do not be complicit in what is going on across the street in separating people from their families and allowing ICE to continue to stand here and dehumanize the people within that prison. <laughs> 